Alright, what's up guys? Welcome back to another Pokemon Sun and Moon Wi-Fi battle. This time we're having an OU tier match against the Legend 27 from Twitter. If you guys would like to battle me, hit me up on Discord or Twitter or Facebook. Links as always are in the description below. Um, so before before you guys jump all over me because my team looks scary as shit, I just want you guys to know that he is the one that asked me for an OU match. Not the other way around. So when he asked me for an OU match, I thought he was going to bring some standard fucking Landorus on every team type shit, but this man, this man brought one interesting looking team, let's say that, <laughs> and uh, I was expecting, like, like I said, more of a standard team, so I brought some scary shit, so please don't jump on, on me about that, but, um, yeah, this is all his fault. <laughs> anyway, looking at his team, he has a very interesting looking team, he's got the Slowbro, which is possibly a Mega, the Mantine, the Chansey, which is always annoying as hell, the Alolan Marowak, He's got the Gligar and the Mew. While looking at my team, we've got Tabu Koko, we've got the Tangela, or not Tangela, Tangrowth, sorry. Um, we have the Megalopony, a Landorus, Terrakion, and the Ash Greninja. So my team is very, very offensively based. So it's uh, it's definitely interesting for me to play like offense because I usually am more like a balanced or defensive player. So this was a really fun match, guys. I hope you'll enjoy. So the battle begins, he's going to lead off with his Slowbro, as I am going to lead off with my Tapu Koko. So, obviously I have the first turn advantage here. He obviously doesn't want to stay in and take an electric type attack, especially not in the electric terrain. So, I predicted him to actually swap out here, and that's exactly what he's going to do. So, I actually go for the U-turn here, as he brings out his Alolan Marowak Ghost Rider. I love that nickname. I used to be a, a fan of those movies back in the day. <laughs> but, um... Yeah, he was probably predicting me to go for either Thunderbolt or Volt Switch. Probably Volt Switch. Um, Alolan Marowak does get access to uh, Lightning Rod, so that's probably what he was going for. I'm going to go ahead and bring out my Greninja here because he's going to have to swap and uh, I can get damage on something. I know he has the Mantine in the back, so I didn't want to give him the Water Absorb, obviously. So I actually go for the Dark Pulse as it was super effective on the Alolan Marowak and it also hits this Mantine for decent damage. This is actually Specs Greninja, so it hits like a damn truck. And uh, especially once I get Ash Greninja going. So I'm going to swap out here because I don't want him to toxic my Greninja. Pretty much my Greninja is, uh, if you saw from team preview, uh, Ash Greninja literally shits all over his team. <laughs> um, I just got to worry about this Manton. I just got to kind of whittle it away um, slowly. So he is going to toxic me as I bring in my Tangrowth, which is honestly fine um, because Tangrowth usually doesn't stay on the field too long. And uh, I do have access to Regenerator, so I, every time I swap, I'm going to get like 33% of my HP back. So the Toxic doesn't really bother me too much. He's going to swap, bring out Majin Buu, which is going to be the Mew. As I believe I predicted that, I went for the knockoff, so that's actually going to knock off his Rocky Helmet here. I am going to take some Rocky Helmet and the Toxic damage, but because he showed the Rocky Helmet, this is definitely a more defensive Mew rather than offensive. Um... And honestly, if you saw Team Preview, <laughs> his entire team, well, not his entire team, but the majority of his team are just really bulky mons. Um, but yeah, I'm going to swap out into Greninja here as he goes for the Seismic Toss, so it's definitely an interesting Mew set. <laughs> I'll give him that. Um, I don't know what his move set is. I'm, I'm assuming like Will-O-Wisp, uh, Seismic Toss, Soft Boiled, and maybe something else. I'm not 100% I'm not sure what this Mew's rocking. So I'm actually swap out here. I'm going to bring out the Tapu Koko, set up the electric terrain once again, and try to nuke something um, with a Thunderbolt here. So he's going to swap out into the Chansey. And um, no, I go for Taunt actually, not the T-Bolt, sorry. Um, but this is actually even better for me because now his Chansey is not going to be able to do any of the shenanigans it likes to do. So he's got two Mons on his team with Seismic Toss. I don't really know if I agree with having two seismic tossers, but <laughs> that's just what this man wanted to do, I guess. So I'm just going to U-turn out here. There's not really a hell of a lot that Tapu Koko can do to a Chansey. Um, I'm going to bring out my man Tucson Terrakion, and uh, he's going to continue to seismic toss me as he is taunted. So I basically know that he's going to swap here. Like, why the hell would he leave in his Chansey on a damn Terrakion? So he's going to swap back out into the slow bro here as I just go for the Stone Edge. It was honestly... A pretty solid neutral play for me overall, um, and I'm obviously going to swap here. I don't want to take a Scald. I don't want to risk uh, Terrakion getting burned. I think I can live a Scald anyway, 
Um, so he's going to actually Mega Evolve here, and this is totally fine uh, because I have Tangrowth here. I am Assault Vest Tangrowth with uh, max HP, max special defense. So literally, even if he starts setting up, it's honestly not going to do much. Like He's going to use Ice Beam here, and because of the Assault Vest and because of my bulk, it literally, it's a super effective hit, but it literally does like laughable damage. So... Um, I'm going to take some uh, some toxic damage there. The electric terrain is going to go away, which is fine. doesn't really matter. And uh, he's going to swap, and uh, he brings out Majin Buu, which is the Mew. And uh, I just went for Leaf Storm because it was a pretty solid play overall. I mean, unless he brought in, like, Chansey or whatever. But, um, yeah, so now my uh, special attack is going to drop a little bit. Tank growth is getting kind of low, so I'm, I'm thinking it's time to swap out here. My boy, my boy Fettuccini is doing well. He did so much damage to that Mew, I will take it. I'm gonna bring out my boy Landorus here. <laughs> I was really, really hoping that this Mew did not have the Ice Beam, because I know a lot of them carry that. Um, so he's gonna actually go for the Soft Boiled here, which is totally fine. Um, I just brought in my Landorus here to try to get up Stealth Rocks, again praying he didn't have the Ice Beam. He goes for Will-O-Wisp. Honestly, it kind of sucks that my Landorus got burned, but Really, I don't think I needed Landorus too much. Um, getting rocks up was definitely more important than anything Landor anything else that Landorus could do. So I'm going to take some burn damage here. And I believe on this turn I actually just go for the uh, the U-turn as he's going to Seismic Toss me. Um, and does Seismic Toss not make contact? Or wait, no, this is a Leftovers Landorus because I thought I had Rocky Helmet, but yeah. So this is Leftovers Landorus. I think it was supposed to be Rocky Helmet. I just brought the wrong Landorus. But that's totally fine. So I'm going to get the hell out of here. I'm going to bring out my boy Tapu Koko here. Looking shiny. Looking spiffy. I really wish that they would give us the other Tapu shiny, man. <laughs> I love shiny Tapu Fini. It looks badass. So he's going to swap here. He's going to bring back out Kim Jong-un. I'm not sure if I... <laughs> I don't know. That's, that's a pretty wild nickname there. So I'm going to actually go for the Z move here. Um, I was actually hoping he would bring in Chansey because this way I can taunt him before he can heal and I can get some pretty solid damage off with the uh, the Gigavolt Havoc here. So this is going to hurt, definitely. It's going to do decent damage, I mean, for what it is a Chansey. Like, Chansey's bulky as shit. But uh, this Gigavolt Havoc plus the Electric Terrain is definitely going to do a solid amount um, even after the uh, Stealth Rocks damage and stuff. So Chansey's definitely hurt. I'm going to definitely go for the taunt here as I believe he does try to heal if I'm not mistaken, or maybe he just goes for the side. Yeah, he tried to go for soft boiled there, but I'm not going to let him do that. I'm going to just go for the T-Bolt here and uh, just try to whittle away at this thing as best I can. So he is going to go for the seismic toss here. And uh, I can only live, well, I actually could only live that one. He's going to kill me next turn. I do decide to let my Tapu Koko go um, just because I really wanted this chance hit as low as possible because I'm trying to get it to the point where Ash Greninja can just come in and uh, do work to the rest of his team. I'm trying to get his team weakened enough to the point where I can bring in Ash Greninja and just annihilate him. <laughs> so I'm gonna bring out Betty White here. <laughs> Shout out to my boy Cameron for the nickname. <laughs> I don't know, this is like his signature mon, so it was pretty cool to use it in a battle. So he's gonna bring out his uh, Mega Slowbro here. He's gonna take some rocks damage. I'm gonna go for the fake out here and Mega Evolve. Unfortunately, I do not have the uh, Thunder Punch on the low punny, which I should. <laughs> um, but I think most low punny carry ice punch anyway, but yeah, I don't have that. I'm gonna go for a fake out here. It does <laughs> pretty laughable damage, honestly. And I wasn't very confident that a return was going to kill. So I'm actually gonna swap here and that does give him an opportunity to set up or go for the slack off and heal. But I bring out my Greninja and he definitely does not wanna stay in here and uh, take the Dark Pulse. I mean, this is Specs Greninja, guys. This is gonna hurt like a motherfucker. <laughs> so he's actually gonna swap. I think he brings out the Mantine. Yeah, Man Ray. <laughs> I like the uh, SpongeBob reference as well, my friend. And uh, he's gonna take some Rocks damage now. I just go for the Dark Pulse, and uh, it's definitely gonna hurt. And I kind of felt like one more Dark Pulse would probably kill him, but it's gonna be tight because of the leftovers. I'm gonna have to get a high roll here um, for that to kill, so I go for it. Honestly, I was hoping for either the high roll or the crit, and I actually end up getting the high roll, so that is going to kill off the Mantine, and it's going to activate my Greninja's ability, Battle Bond, so now I'm going to turn into Ash Greninja, and now the fun begins. <laughs> so now Greninja is here, so Greninja is definitely my win con, for sure, and uh, he's going to bring out Mr. Giggles here, 
He's going to take some rocks damage. I kind of felt like he was probably going to defog um, just to get rid of my rocks and stuff for the rest of his team, which is fine. I totally understand that. At this point, um, I really don't even need rocks anymore to win this battle. <laughs> like, I'm in, I'm basically set. Um, so he's going to actually go for the U-turn with Mr. Giggles. And uh, as I bring in Fettuccine, he's going to go back out into his Mew. And uh, I believe I go for the Leech... Not the Leech Seed. <laughs> I go for the Leaf uh, leaf Storm there. I couldn't think of the name of the, the damn move. <laughs> um, but yeah, I just go for the Leaf Storm here as he is going to defog. So he's going to get rid of... Oh, fuck. He's going to get rid of my rocks. Jesus. These long-ass fucking commentaries. This battle is a long battle. These long-ass commentaries, man. They get me. <laughs> um, so I'm going to go for the Leaf Storm there. It it uh, leaves the Mew in red HP, which is fine. I'm going to take some toxic damage, of course. And uh, I kind of felt like he was probably going to heal because he is faster than me. So I'm going to just go ahead and swap back out into my Greninja now, um, expecting the heal. And uh, he does, in fact, go for the Soft Boiled. Which is totally fine, because I can just kill this thing off. Honestly, it doesn't really matter. <laughs> um, he can heal all he wants to. It doesn't matter to me. So I am going to go for the Dark Pulse. He's actually going to decide to leave his Mew in to die. Which, uh, I guess I kind of agree with that play. Because honestly, like, what else was he going to do? <laughs> so he's going to bring out Mr. Giggles once again. And uh, he's just going to go for the U-turn once again as I swap. Definitely do not want my Greninja to take a U-turn. <laughs> So once again, I'm going to bring out uh, Fettuccine here on the U-turn, but because I'm so damn bulky, that U-turn does, like, laughable damage. Plus, U-turn is a weak move anyway. It's only really meant to, like, maintain momentum and stuff. So he's going to bring out the Alolan Marowak. I should have actually predicted that, honestly. I <laughs> I really should have, man. I have Earthquake on this Tangrowth. It definitely would have killed him, but I'm going to swap out here. Kind of bummed that I didn't do that. I'm going to bring out my boy Landorus once again, even though I'm burned. I'm pretty confident that uh, because Alola Marowak is so damn frail, I'm pretty confident that an Earthquake could kill him. So I'm going to go ahead and get the Intimidate off. That's going to lower his attack. And uh, he actually has the Fire Punch instead of Flare Blitz. Don't know if I agree with that either. I would definitely go with uh, Flare Blitz there. So right here, I actually predicted a swap. Um, so I went for the HP Ice, and uh, obviously he didn't swap. And uh, he's just going to kill me off with a Shadow Bone, that I, but that is honestly fine um, because it gives me another swap into my Greninja and he literally can't do anything. He's like, he's honestly running out of options here, so he's going to swap back out into the Chansey, and Chansey's pretty much dead. Um, I'm just going to lock myself into the Water Shuriken, and at this point in the battle, I can honestly just clean up shop here, so <laughs> Chansey's dead to two Water Shurikens. Um... Let's see, what's he bringing next? I can't remember what... Uh, oh, okay, so he's going to bring in his uh, his Slowbro here. And uh, obviously, because I'm Specs, I'm going to have to get out of here. So I'm going to swap and uh, bring in the Fettuccine once again. And uh, here he goes for the Ice Beam. Obviously, it doesn't do anything. And he can't uh, freeze me because I'm already poisoned. So that's... Honestly, the poison helped me out because <laughs> had he frozen me, I don't know. That kind of would have fucked me over a little bit, probably. But anyway, I'm going to go for the Leaf Storm here. It actually surprises me. It kills him. Uh, I don't even have special attack investment, but <laughs> Fettuccine plays no fucking games and uh, kills the uh, the uh, Mega Slowbro there. I know it's more bulky on the physical side, and I know it was a super effective hit, but I w honestly was not expecting that to kill. But uh, he's going to bring out the Ghost Rider once again. And uh, he goes for Bone Meringue. I actually stay in. I was actually trying to sack off my uh, my Tangrowth just to bring out my Greninja, but he actually, <laughs> I guess he mispredicted, and um, he just went for the Bone Meringue rather than the Fire Punch. So I'm actually going to go go for the knockoff there, and uh, that's going to knock off his Thick Club, which, uh, once again, works out in my favor because now this thing is much, much less of a threat. Um, and he's just going to go for the Shadow Bone here. That's going to kill off Fettuccine. But Fettuccine did a fabulous job whittling away at this man's team. So now all I have to do is just bring out Greninja and just go for the Water Shuriken. Literally, both of his Mons are weak to this. His last Mon is going to be the um, the Gligar. So. And uh, in this gym, they actually made Water Shuriken a special attack. So now I know that Gligar has a much higher physical defense than a special defense. I mean, it did, it, like with Eviolite, it still does have like a decent special defense, but it is super effective. And this is a Specs damn Greninja, so this is definitely going to kill him. It actually takes all three hits to kill him, but 
it does kill him and that is game so good game my friend we will definitely battle again um, like I said before I thought he was gonna bring like a more standard team but he surprised me I guess so anyway I enjoyed the battle nonetheless and you know I give props to this man for bringing some crazy shit to a OU match but anyway I hope you guys enjoyed the video nonetheless please don't hate on me <laughs> um, but anyway I love you guys I'm gonna get out of here peace out have a smiley day